Sanu PF Secretary of Finance Patrick Chinomasa has claimed that the main opposition MDC alliance would not win the March 26 by-elections, became its leaders Nelson Chamisa and Tendai Bidi allegedly called for sanctions to be imposed on Zimbabwe. In a long thread that he posted on Twitter, Chinamasa said Chimisa and Bidi committed unpardonable sins by calling for imposition of sanctions on Zimbabwe. It was not clear from Chinamasa's statements when Chimisa and Bidi allegedly called for the imposition of sanctions on Zimbabwe. I addressed this tweet to Nelson Chimisa and Tendai Bidi in their capacities as lawyers, although the first mentioned is a lawyer more entitled than substance, skill and experience, and not as political leaders. I just want to remind them of two things. First, when they asked foreign countries to impose sanctions against Zimbabwe and for foreign forces to intervene militarily to stop the revolutionary land redistribution program, not only did they dig their own political graves but they committed unpardonable acts of treason, Chinamasa tweeted. Second, that in terms of our national constitution and electoral law, the Americans, the British and the Europeans, who have supported and sustained them from their formation, and who, at the request and instigation of MDC, imposed, extended and intensified the sanctions against Zimbabwe and its population, have no right to vote in the forthcoming parliamentary and local authority by-elections gazetted to take place on March 26, 2022. They ought to know that being regularly invited as honored guests to the CIA Central Intelligence Agency in Pentagon U.S. M15 HQ United Kingdom's domestic counterintelligence and security agency gives them no political capital that can translate into votes for them and will not save the MDC alliance from the political route that awaits them come March 26, 2022. Chamisa and Biddy referred all questions on the issue to the MDC alliance spokesperson Fitz A. Mahir who blasted Chinamasa's utterances describing them as very unfortunate. Their president Emerson Nangagwa told them to stop moaning about sanctions, which as a matter of fact, were imposed because of the ZANU-PF misrule. It's not sanctions. Rather, it is corruption by regime elites which has brought this nation to its knees, Mahir said. The people voted for the MDC alliance in 2018, and they will vote for it again. You Chinamasa are frothing at the mouth and invoking incendiary language because the whole country is saying that you have no answer to this resounding call for change and new ethical leadership.